McMaster Engineering has long been at the heart of the innovation ecosystem. Today, in Silicon Valley, we are talking to some of our most prominent alumni who've participated in the innovation ecosystem that lies at the heart of innovation worldwide. I formed my own unwritten rules about how to emulate Silicon Valley. You have to have two or three good universities. You have to have an equivalent of Sand Hill Road, the VCs. And thirdly, you need to have a community of small startups that will help each other early on. So if I take any innovation ecosystem, you rate it based on five factors. One, the open-mindedness of it. Two, the legal framework, does it have the patent laws, the bankruptcy laws, the corporate laws. Three is the talent flow. It has to have a net surplus talent flow. Four is the access to capital. And then five is the experience. So on all five metrics, you know, 20 years ago, Southern Ontario was weak, but now it's, it's either a B plus or an A minus. It, and, and that is what's making it competitive with the Seattle's and the Portland's and the Tel Aviv's and the China. I think the one thing it has to improve on is experience. I think what, what that corridor needs a little bit is some of the VCs who will be bold enough to realize that you are dealing with three to five top universities that graduate excellent people. And I think if, if you can attract a few VCs in there, you have all the ingredients to have a tiny or a mini Silicon Valley. Nobody wants to miss the next Uber or the next Airbnb. So, in fact, we're seeing it already. VCs will fly to Toronto, Waterloo, Montreal, Hamilton to make sure that they don't miss the next giant, the next unicorn. So if we build great companies, the money will come. One of the main reasons that we came down here was because we wanted to uh, build another company. Um, we wanted to have access to a significant amount of capital, and I think that's one of the things that you know this region really excels at. Tech North is in a really good position right now because when I left in 97, it was unquestionably not a favorable place to entrepreneurs, but things have evolved significantly for Southern Ontario. I think right now I would not make the same decision. I would actually stay in Southern Ontario. The more we can connect our efforts, and cooperate together, the better. Canadian universities at McMaster, we are world class. Stanford, by their proximity to the Silicon Valley, is often heralded as, as the Silicon Valley model. But our engineering and technical scientific talent is world class. McMaster uh, Engineering prepared me extremely well uh, for an entrepreneurial career. It went well beyond just you know the theoretical knowledge and the book knowledge, um, but McMaster actually encouraged us to go out and do you know practical things. Actually, um, learn by doing. Entrepreneurship is like anything else in life. Uh, it's about practice. Uh, the more you do it, the better you get at it. Uh, and so it's important for for people who have ideas to, to try them. The people that are the most successful have brought a fresh view. So if you have an idea, try it. Because that fresh perspective can be something that actually disrupts the industry. <laughs>